Hey, hi, hello, what's up, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this like super highlighted, like bronzy kind of look. She looks like she's like an island girl or whatever. Technically, I'm Jamaican, but I was born and bred in the United Kingdom, so do with that whatever you will. But yeah, um, I try not to talk too much in this video, but I probably did because I talk a lot. You know how it is. But yeah, if you want to see how I put together this kind of like glowy, highlighted, bronzy vibes kind of look, then of course, don't go anywhere. Okay, so we're starting off really close today um, because I wanted to try something a little bit new. Um, I wanted to make sure that you could like see everything I'm doing and all that jazz. So, where is my primer? I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. Is that what you're called? Post Shave Balm? Yes, sensitive. Um, I said in my last video that I've been really enjoying this recently. I think that my foundation applies nicely on top of it. Um, speaking of foundation, we're going to use the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Cappuccino. I find this foundation sits really nice on the skin. Where is my sponge, girl? Girl, where is... Why? Where? Who? Where'd she go? Hello? Okay, found her. Um, yeah, this is such a nice lightweight foundation that doesn't give me too much attitude the shade range oh they recently expanded it i was about to say the shade range like isn't the best but um i know they did recently expand it this shade works best for me in the summer because it's a little a little dark it's a little warm as well like cool warm warm i don't know i get so confused with like undertones because my brain defaults to like the mac um way of doing things because like that's what i grew up on but now I'm like, I know it's the other way around, like cool is more like red toned and warm is more like golden toned, but I still forget. Anyway, so yeah, this foundation has, it's actually more orange. It's like a little bit more orange, even though it's like true match. It doesn't like match me truly. It's a little more orange. And when I get a bit more tan in the summer, plus I was in Greece two weeks ago. So I am like a lot more tan and I find, and my, I find that my skin Turns, tends to lean a little more red when it's had sun on it but because I'm like golden anyway we get this like nice orangey kind of glow but like not tangerine orange like you know what I mean so um yeah I like this foundation because it has a bit more of an orangey undertone could have just said that I don't know why I have to drag everything out for 3,000 hours <laughs> okay so for concealer I'm doing the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer in the shade Tian um, I think I mentioned it before as well, but I'll just throw it in again that I'm so happy that I can finally use this concealer. But yeah, now I have tan so your girl can get on her Maybelline Instant Age of Rewind. I've just hit my mid-twenties, so I think now was a good time to start rewinding that age, honey. Although, like the past, for the past six or seven months or so, um, that I've been home in England, I get mistaken for so much younger all the time to the point where i'm like are you not taking the piss or do you like actually think i look this young i was in a shop the other day i was in a one-stop i haven't even seen a one-stop for years but i was randomly in a one-stop the other day and i had a kind of emerge i was with my mom I had a kind of emerge for those of you who don't know it emerges an energy drink so i had this kind of energy drink and the, my mom was in front of me in the queue and like there was loads of other stuff going on as well because you can never just go to the shop and buy something these days. Like, there's always, like, some drama. There's always some, like, joke. There's always something, right? So, anyway, so my mum and the cashier lady are, like, having, like, this whole kiki. And they're laughing and joking and whatever. So, it's my turn to be served. So, I put my Emerge and I had some cereal as well. I put them on the counter and the lady's like, I'll give the Emerge to your mum so your mum can pay for it. And I was just like, why? <laughs> and she was saying, oh, you have to be 16 to buy energy drinks. I looked at her and I looked at my mum and my mum was like, what? Because she was like, hadn't heard like everything. So I think all she heard was like, um, you have to be 16 to buy energy drinks thing. So my mum was like, huh? Like, what are you talking about? So I was like, yeah, I know. That's his idea. I was like, yeah, I know you have to be 16, right? So she's like, yes, yeah, so give it to your mum because um, um, because you'll have ID. And I was like, I'm 25. <laughs> 
and so like, of course she was like shocked like oh my god really you look so young da, 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 da. like I, I do get this a lot but it's never usually like i never usually look under 16 like are you joking i literally haven't been 16 for like nine years like what let me just get my powder i'm gonna set with the beauty bakery flower powder in the shade yo i'm gonna do my brows real quick and then we can come and do the eyes and the rest of the face i'm trying to get this video less than half an hour because you know like a long video so i'm gonna do my brows and then come back so brows are done for the most part i'm not sure how i feel about them they look a little crazy today but it is what it is i also forgot to mention that when i set my under eyes with the beauty bakery powder i also set my entire face with the mac mineralized skin finish natural in the shade dark deepest this is the first makeup product that i've like hit pan on it's like the first powder product i've ever hit pan on and i was like freaking out because clearly i love this a lot and i use this thing like every day every day at least five times a week i use this powder so I So my lens doesn't zoom in any further than this, so we're just gonna scooch forward a little bit and hope that you can see how bad my blending skills really are. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna use a lot of eyeshadow today, so we should be fine. So the first eyeshadow I'm gonna use is by the brand Innisfree. This is the shade. It's called Fire Red Tulip. I had to translate it in my mind real quick because Innisfree is a Korean brand. Woo, girl, okay. I forgot how bright this, this so hold on, I forgot how pigmented this is. I was trying to say that Innisfree is a Korean band and the name was written in Korean. So I had to translate it in my head real quick. Now I'm like, I forgot how pigmented this eyeshadow is. Give me a sec. I'm just gonna use this big, what is this brush? No, it's the Morphe E23. It's my, one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. I, I know what brush this is. <laughs> is it the E23? It is the E23. Um, I'm just gonna use this to like pack and blend like simultaneously this color onto most of my eye space. I'm going to take the MUA E3, it's just like a smaller blending brush and my Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to use this brown, I think that brown, this brown, this brown here and just, I don't know, do some magic around the edges because I just like how that looks. Okay, so done with that. Now, I already filmed a video on the next product I'm going to use, but I think I was too excited, so the video like didn't come out well, so I won't be posting it. But I figured I'd use them today in this kind of like bronzy look that I'm going to have going on. And they are the Diamond Glow Powders by Jackie Aina and Artist Couture in La Bronze and La Peach. So, um, I don't think I'm going to, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to need it, but... I'm going to apply some NYX glitter glue to the eye. I think I'm going to use my finger. I don't know. I don't, didn't plan this part out, so I don't quite know what's going to happen. We're going in with La Bronze first on a flat shader brush. This is also by MUA when I found it. It's the E1. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. I'm having to be really careful because there's so much fine glitter in this. Can you even see how pretty this is? I don't think you can, but there's so much fine glitter in this. It's just flying everywhere and I don't want it all over my face. So. Ta-da! See if you can see. My lights are really bright, as I said, but you can kind of see like without, with, with, without. It's super pretty. I'm just going to do the same on the other side now. 
Now, in my experience with this NYX glitter, is it glitter glue? Glitter primer, excuse me. It really helps prevent shimmer shades from transferring to the rest of my eye. I have hooded lids as you can see and it does really help with all of that. I would also like to point out that I'm barely using any products like there's no loose powder in the lid at all. I'm just like tapping over the holes that are only open a quarter of the way. I don't, you can see they're only open like that much. I'm just tapping over the holes and getting all the product I need. Because a little of this really does go a long way. I'm also just gently tap. Oh, this is cute. Oh, bitch. Okay. I'm also just like gently patting onto the lid as well to prevent too much movement. I don't want to like be like sliding around, rubbing it around because I think it would fly everywhere. And I'm not trying to do that. Oh, crystal girl. Okay, this is a gorgeous. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, baby girl. Okay, so I'm also going to use a little bit. I'm also, I'm so excited now. I'm also going to use La Peach. I think I'm going to use her. No, okay, first of all, we need more colour on this hair lid. And I think I'm going to use La Peach on the inner part of the eye. I'm going to use the same brush. Now, my La Peach is a bit messier i don't know if you can quite see that probably not but my lip peach is a bit more messy so i'm gonna have to be very careful oh okay this is insanely beautiful So this eye, I've managed to keep it like really controlled and Zachary on it, but this one, she got a little out of hand. Because I've already got all my concealer on, I'm going to jump straight into the under eye with the Zoeva 226. This is a smudger brush, and I'm going to use the same brown for my Morphe 350. Oh, this one. Even though it like barely shows up on me, I'm going to use it anyway, because I want the look to tie together. I'm actually going to dip into some of the brown next to it as well. I'm doing these two browns together. And now I'm going in with the Zoeva 227 brush and not that. This to just blend. So I pull back a bit so you can see the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with this blush by The Sem. It is amazing. The Sem's another Korean brand. And I'm going to like a blush and highlight to combo that I've been dying over ever since I got LeBron's and Le Peach like a week ago. So this, oh, this blush will probably match the eyeshadow quite nicely. That's a lot of blush. We're having like a Coco the Clown moment. Oh god, that's a lot of blush. I will say though that all the makeup I tried while I was in Korea for two years, this was one of the very few blushes that actually showed up on my skin. So I'm not going to complain about it being too pigmented because, girl, most of the blushes out there have no pigment on me. So, this is a Real Techniques blush brush, by the way. Okay. Okay, girl. And now I don't contour, I don't bronze, that's just like not me. I do have a contour powder by Makeup Geek, but I just don't contour. I kind of like how, what my face does naturally, so I just leave it alone. And now for highlighter, I'm going to use the bronze, of course. I'm going to use this e.l.f. highlighting brush. And I'm just going to see... Oh. Okay, listen... It honestly doesn't show up as beautiful on camera as it is. I'm going to put on a little bit more. Okay, now, now you can see. It's such a beautiful, beautiful highlight shade. And I like that it matches my eyeshadow perfectly because I have on my eyes as well. It's just so great. <laughs> oh, I always take it a bit too high sometimes. I'm like, that's my eye. <laughs> but I can blend it out in a minute. Oh. I'm going to have to blend that a bit more as well because in person 
it's a lot. So let me just blend this first now. And I think because they're loose powders, they're a lot more, well it is, but the peach is the same. I think the diamond glow powders in general, I think I think the formula is the same across the board. Not that I've tried them, but I just assume. And I think that because they're loose powders, they're a lot easier to um, blend and manipulate than pressed powders. Sometimes, because you can just like, and it's done. It's blended exactly where you wanted it to go. So that is a blended Le Bronze. But I'm going to put the peach on top. I'm going to put some Le Peach on top now. I don't think I'm in focus. Sorry if I'm not in focus. Sorry if I haven't been in focus. I'm just like dusting a little Le Peach right on top of Miss Le Bronze. Because I feel like the camera's not picking this up properly, but it's my positioning. I put a little dusting of Le Bronze on the nose. You can see it now. It's like smack bang in the middle of my face. Like how it's such like a cute, like natural looking glow. Like on my cheeks, it's kind of like doing a lot. But I like it. And I'm going to put some, that's Le Bronze again. I'm going to put a dot of Le Peach on the nose too. And leave. Walk away. You're not trying to cut Rudolph. Walk away. Oh, that's so. See what I mean? Like, can you see why I don't bronze? Why I don't contour? Like. It's cheekbones, girl. Of course, this wouldn't be a true Jackie Ina inspired look if I didn't do my inner corner highlight. So I'm just taking La Peach on this fluffy brush and just bam, 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 doing what she does. I always like to do my mascara once I've finished with all my powder products so like nothing will stick in it. So I'm going first in with the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. It's like Extreme Crazy Volume mascara can you see like mascara no mascara i really like this mascara a lot it reminds me a lot of the it reminds me a lot of the maybelline last sensational you know the one like the rose gold rose gold packaging um it reminds me a lot of that if you had a wilkinson's like i do you can get this for two by eighty. You're welcome. And I think this, for me personally, is fine on its own. But because I'm extra, I do go in with the. Let me get it. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara that I was just talking about. But this is the black one. It's the Luscious with the oil blend in the shade which is black, and it just takes my eyes from like my eyelashes from like amazing to grow. Are those falsies? Because it really makes them really black. And I enjoy it. Like, I don't know if you can tell the difference. It, like, barely makes a difference, but it looks pretty. Unfortunately, I don't have any peachy nudes. I'm, like, peach nude kind of girl. But I do have this soft matte lip cream by NYX in the shade Rome. Admittedly, it's pink. It's more of, like, a rosy kind of colour. But I'm going to put a gloss over the top to kind of balance that out. I hate, okay, I bought, I bought, I hate this lip colour. I hate it. Why do I, why, okay, I'm throwing this away. I keep putting it on like, oh yeah, it's okay. It's not. It's heinous. I don't like it. Okay, so I just tried like four lip combos and NYX Butter Gloss Ginger Snap on its own. It's just like the best looking of all of them. Like I tried... Three different lipsticks, I tried them with the glass, I tried them without the glass, and like, they just look... It just looks best on its own, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. This is the final face. I think she looks pretty cute, if I do say so myself. I, I'm gonna switch my lenses now and do my outro because I'm tired of being in and out of focus. As, like, this lens drives me insane. But I'll give you one last look. And then I'm going to do my outro with my other lens. So this is the final look. I put in some earrings, which I think kind of pulled the look together. You can see my, like, tropical vibe shirt now. Um, so, yeah, this is my last video of the season. Because literally tomorrow is September. And in my next video, I'm literally going to have a smoky eye and an oxblood lip. 
don't at me but yep yeah, that's it from me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you do like these videos please subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye